Thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. In the early 1900s, Charles Schwab owned the Bethlehem Steel Company, and he couldn't understand why the company wasn't filling their quota. So one late afternoon, he walked down on the floor to talk to the mill manager and simply asked him, why cannot a capable man like yourself motivate these guys to produce on their quota? And unfortunately, he just didn't have many good answers. So Charles Schwab grabbed the guy and said, how many batches of steel did you produce today? And the number was six. Great. Get me a big piece of chalk. And he wrote the number six on the floor. When the night crew came in, they saw that six and asked what it was. And the, the day crew just mentioned, that's how many batches of steel we produce today. So the next morning when Charles Schwab and the day crew walked in, they saw that six was rubbed out and replaced with a seven. And they went to work and said, we'll show that night crew a thing or two. So that evening when the night crew came in, they saw that that seven was rubbed out and replaced with a 10. And before you know it, within a week, that steel mill was producing double of what they were producing earlier that week. Why? Simple competition and just a little bit of pride. Now I have an organization I've been working with for over three years. And they've made three acquisitions over the last three years. But just recently, we were doing a culture meeting. And I love what they came up with. Three words. Purpose, passion, and pride. And as they were discussing that as a team, one of their team leaders really sunk his teeth into one of the words. And that word was pride. And he talked about how they show up each and every day. And how they lead their team and how they feel when they finish a job for a customer that they have tremendous pride with the work they did. And we talked about that and the pride and the purpose and the passion and you can see it in the owners, Jeff and John, who has been running this company for quite some time. Their purpose of wanting to be the best, their passion of wanting to be the best and really do their job and really lead a great team and pride of how they show up each and every day because they know as leaders they show up for pride that will drip down to the team which will drip down to the lower team which will drip down to the customers and when you're showing up with that pride each and every day that's an energy and a result in the products and services that you produce that cannot be missed by your clients and they pick up on that they're satisfied and they come back for more and they tell their friends so nature's experts, John, Jeff, Brian, and the rest of the team, I salute you for having that purpose, passion, and pride. And just like those men back in the early 1900s working in Bethlehem Steel, and any of you out there, put a little friendly competition in there against yourself and your other competitors of just showing up, having that pride, being your best day in and day out, and not only you, your organization and your team will prosper, but your clients will keep on coming back because they will see that your mission is to be the best. I hope this has been valuable. I want to thank you as always for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. I want to wish you a productive and proper week, and I'll see you next Monday. Go get them. Good morning, YouTube fans. I just want to sincerely thank you for listening to Coach Michael on your Monday morning. I'm also asking, as you listen to these videos, if you find value in the content, please comment below. Also, feel free to share these with any other of your colleagues or friends that you think will receive the same value. And last, make sure you click on that little notification bell so you will get all and any updates on any of my videos or any upcoming events or opportunities. So as always, thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning, and I'll see you next Monday. Thank you.